Morning all. Uh, I thought I would show you a little bit of my village in Tideswell, uh, which is in the Glorious Peak District um, and is a great inspiration for a lot of my yarn colourways. So I thought I'd give you a taste of my commute to work. So this is my house and I'm just going to turn the phone round and you can see what comes next. So that's the local pub. A nice short walk if it was open, sadly not at the moment because of coronavirus. And this is my road, typical Peak District Village. Um, let's head down here, which is through to the most amazing church that uh, you will find in the Peak District. It's known as the Cathedral of the Peak mainly because it's absolutely huge and I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see it on my little phone. See that? Massive. Uh, built in 1400 or something. Um, got the most amazing stained glass windows, which sadly you can't really see today because it's so over, um, so cloudy. Um, anyway, this is the churchyard and very lush and green. Thankfully we had some rain last night um, and Tideswell itself has been absolutely fabulous during the lockdown. Uh, we've had loads and loads of um, activities for kids, obviously happening socially distanced uh, and typically in family groups. Um, this is one of them just coming up. This is Sydney the snake. You just see it on the left hand side there. So you take a pebble, you take it home, you paint it and then you bring it back and pop it with the rest of them. And obviously the NHS is appearing on a lot of the stones. Isn't that great? Anyway, this is the main centre of the village. Uh, we've got a great second-hand bookshop just down there. A gift shop. That's my friend Pete. Say hi, Pete. Hi. Morning. And then we have Tindall's the Bakers. And so we carry on up the road. It's a bit busy this morning. More cars than usual. Clearly lockdown is lifting. Um, a bit more of the church. Colour inspiration everywhere. Look at that, isn't that gorgeous? And I worked out yesterday, it's about an 800 step commute to the studio, which compared to my previous life, which was uh, working in business in London, which was four o'clock on a Monday morning, uh, it is a delight. Um, but the pub, sadly closed because of coronavirus. Um, hopefully we can get life back into them soon. Anyway, over there, is the studio. So I'm just going to cross over, avoid this chat with a beautiful Whippet. Hi Whippet! Clearly Whippet wants to play. Right, so here's the studio. Sadly closed but hopefully soon be open. If you visited the studio, you'll know the sound of that bell very well. Okay, so it's a little bit chaotic because as you can see, I'm preparing for uh, the Wool Monty. Big pile of labelling there. Um, and, oh, what's this? Uh, it's the Wool Monty mug from last year. Hopefully there'll be one for next year too. So just to take you into the back so you can see what we've got going. Showing a little bit of the preparation for Wool Monty. Um, there's a preponderance of orange. That may be the show special. And just to show you the inspiration for that, Henderson's Relish. Sheffielders will know exactly what I'm talking about. Non-Sheffielders won't have a clue, but I will educate you this weekend. 
Okay, that's it. That's more show specials in there. That's various bowls ready to go this morning. Um, and have a great Royal Monty at the weekend. And I look forward to seeing you. Bye.